So the Avengers defeated the Celestials led by Loki in one of their greatest battles ever. Fans have witnessed the birth of the most powerful Avengers team. Captain America, Ghost Rider, Iron Man, Captain Marvel and Thor are all led by the new Avengers leader, the Black Panther. The Avengers number 8 opens with Roberto Reyes aka the Ghost Rider entering the Avengers new headquarter in the North Pole. The new headquarter is the armored corpse of the Alpha Celestial known as the Progenitor. The first Celestial to ever visit the Earth and the one whose death gave birth to all mankind. The Celestials left his body as a gift for the Avengers after taking Loki with them, becoming the mightiest hero's new headquarter. There is a typo in writing the word progenitor on page number 10. They wrote the letter I after the letter T instead of the letter N. The Avengers voted for a new leader for the team, and the decision was unanimous to choose Black Panther as their new leader, and he was honored to shoulder the new responsibility. The book also witnesses the return of Namor, the Lord of Atlantis, to replace Doctor Strange, who will be serving in a reserve capacity. But the most important thing about this book for the Hulk's fans is the interesting conversation which took place between Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk, and Doctor Strange while doing some tests on her body and scale of power. Strange says that her body is rife with enough gamma radiation to kill most people many times over. And since her last encounter with the Celestials, those gamma counts have greatly increased. She is storing gamma energy more than ever before. And she is able to release that energy in the most explosive of ways. Jennifer says that this explains her increased power levels. This explosiveness is beyond whatever Banner can generate. The Celestials needed her at her strongest to stop the final host. So the current She-Hulk is the biggest and the baddest Hulk the world has ever seen. Does this mean that she is more powerful than World War Hulk? Or the World Breaker? Or even the current Immortal Hulk? The Immortal Hulk has finally confronted the Avengers, including Jennifer, who was upset about what Banner did, and it seems that some smash is going to take place, so we are finally going to know who the strongest one really is. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you think She-Hulk is going to defeat the Immortal Hulk, who can absorb the gamma energy out of her body the way he did with the Sasquatch, or did her encounter with the Celestials make her beyond the Hulk's abilities to take her down? Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.